Excuse me. Uh, have you been out here for a while? Not too long, no. How can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for a friend of mine, a woman with a baby. Um, I'm late. I got held up. Uh, yeah. She is from out of town, wouldn't know her way around, probably looked a little lost. Yeah, sorry. Can't say I've seen anybody that fits that description. If she's smart, she took her baby in out of this cold. sugar I haven't eaten. Really? Uh, I'm okay. Um, I just thank you for your concern. It means a lot to me. Nick, this is crazy. Just, just let me get you to a hospital. Uh, uh, no, no. I said no. That, and that's it? You're just, you're just gonna get up and walk away? Pretty much. Okay. I'll see you later. Follow me? Yeah, uh, I did this time. I wanted to make sure that you were okay. I am. I thought you said you were gonna get something to eat. Allison, stop. Please. You don't have to worry about me. Then you need to worry about yourself. You collapse. That is not normal. You have chronic nosebleeds and severe headaches, okay? These could be signs of a serious illness. I already told you that it's stress related. Well, I don't believe that. And I don't believe that you ever want to see a neurologist. Well, believe whatever you want to believe, but I know what's going on in my head better than you do. Why can't you just please tell me? Because I can't. Why not? Because. Oh, it's not... It's not something that you can just diagnose and fix. And I understand that you're a nurse and you want it to be that simple, but it's not. Okay, Mick, I want you to be honest with me. Mm-hmm. Are you in some kind of drugs? No. Is that what you think? Well, I don't know what to think, except the fact that you're a lot sicker than you're willing to admit. I'm not a drug addict, Allison. I don't even take aspirin. Why are you being so stubborn about this? Are you afraid about what they might find? Because you shouldn't be. Even if it's something serious, if we get there in time... If I promise to see a doctor, will you leave me alone? You're going to have to do a lot more than just promise. Oh, you are relentless. You know, when it comes to seeing people I care about in trouble, then yeah, I guess I can be. You care about me. You hardly know me. Whose fault is that? Listen. Mm. Here's the deal. You either let me get you medical attention now, tonight, or I will tell Paul and Emily that something's wrong with you. That would be a bad move on your part. It wouldn't be the first. I'll tell them that you're sick and you see how fast Paul pulls his money. You don't want to put your pressure pocket. on me like that. Then give me another Then promise. leave me alone! Because I can't promise that you won't get. Get what? 
hurt? Is that a threat? Mick? 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 No fever. Guess you're just allergic to kindness. No, just intrusive people. You know, if you had one of these attacks while driving, you could hurt a lot of people. Is that what you want? Of course not. Then why are you so terrified about getting checked out? Because I don't need to. 